Hey there Bulldog Country, this week we're talking with senior captain on the men's hockey team Carson Coleman about the upcoming season as well as getting to know him a little bit better. For UMD, take another look at it. Sarah Kelly put it home, a freshman. Two He's a big young boy. Here's a chance in front. They score! Corey flipped it in there. I have follow went to the net. They combined to get Minnesota. Hi, Bulldog Country. I'm Carson Coleman from Esco, Minnesota. I'm the men's hockey captain, and I'd like to say, go dogs. So Carson, you joined the Bulldogs in 2014 and since then you have played in the last 122 consecutive games. You are tied with Quinnipiac University's Landon Smith for the longest Ironman streak in Division I hockey. How does that reflect your dedication to this team? Yeah, I think that's a, that's a pretty cool stat. Um, I think really it comes down to uh, um, working hard and, and getting lucky along the way. Been pretty fortunate with no injuries, uh, knock on wood. But uh, but yeah, I think uh, I think it's kind of a testament of everything. We we do a lot of off ice, you know, training and rehab to uh, to take care of our bodies, and uh, been pretty fortunate. And this weekend is a pretty big weekend for the Bulldogs. You guys kick off the 2017-18 season here at Amsoil Arena with the Icebreaker Tournament. You guys are going to face both Michigan Tech and the U of M. What is the excitement like in the team and what have you guys been doing to prepare for this weekend? Yeah, I think it's very exciting. I think um, obviously last weekend with an exhibition game was a, was a good uh, good starting place for our team, but um, this weekend's a real deal and, and all these non-conference games add up towards the end of the year. So I think, uh, I think we, we all realize how important uh, it is to get some wins here. And that being said, you do face the University of Minnesota Golden Gophers on Friday. You currently have a seven game win streak against them. What does a team need to do to bring that up to eight? Uh, yeah, we've uh, we've been pretty fortunate my my three years so far uh, against uh, against our rivals, but it's always an intense game. I think uh, we've been um, we've we've got a couple good bounces and then played played some good hockey games in the last three years. Um, won some tight games um, both up here and and down in at Minneapolis. But um, but I think tomorrow's a, a new a new chapter. I think this is uh, two different teams than we've had in the past, and I, I'm just really looking forward to it. The play should be uh, play should be rocking, so it'll be fun. And kind of going off that, last season was very successful for you guys and you did lose 60% of goal production when players either graduated or left early. What has the team been doing to kind of fill those roles of the players that had left? Yeah, obviously we had we had a great senior class and, and a couple guys signed early. Um, we were we were pretty fortunate with the group of guys we had last year. But I think what one thing we've done is is this summer and this fall we've we've really put an emphasis on on turning the page. I think uh, we got I think 10, 10 freshmen and then the red shirt, so 11 new new guys uh, in the lineup this year. So it, they bring a lot of energy. I think it's great. They come come to the rink every day and and kind of kind of pushes everybody else to be happy and then positive and. Uh, pushes everybody else to be better so it's great I think uh, the scoring will come uh, I don't think we put too much pressure on anybody individually to score so I think that's one thing that we can't really worry about and and it'll it'll come with time and with those new bodies on the team have you guys done any kind of team bonding in the preseason to prepare for this season uh, yeah I think one new thing that we actually incorporated this year is um, for one weekend we all went up uh, up north a bit and and kind of kind of hung out for a weekend we did a little little camping a little team building exercise a little paintball so it was uh, it was different but it was fun um, beyond that we just uh, we got a great group in there I mean everybody loves being around everybody whether it's at the rink or at home or, or at school or whatnot so it's uh, we're pretty fortunate with with the culture that we have uh, here at UMD you were born and raised in Esco, Minnesota, and as a native of the state of hockey, how does it feel to be named a captain this year of a collegiate team that you grew up watching? Ah, uh, yeah, it's a huge honor. Obviously, uh, being a being a local guy, and, and especially following a, a string of local captains. Um, like Dom and Andy Walensky and Adam Krause my freshman year as well. So um, it means a lot. Obviously, it's, it's something that I don't take for granted. I think uh, it kind of kind of motivates me to, to work even harder and, and, and uh, be a better influence to, to all these young guys that we have. 
And that being said, is there any key takeaways from Dom and Andy and Adam that you have learned that you want to project onto the team this year? Yeah, I think um, one great thing about those three guys is, is they were all such great leaders in different ways. I think, uh, I think they each did um, different things very well. So it's, uh, it's kind of nice to be able to pull um, little things from each of them and then kind of adapt it in, into my own leadership style. But really, not, at the end of the day, nothing really changes. I, uh, I still come to the rink and I just want to be the hardest working guy here and, and uh, hopefully lead by example. And looking ahead for the rest of the 2017-18 season, what can the fans expect from the Bulldogs this year? Uh, yeah, you can expect uh, can expect another another great uh, team on the ice. Um, I think uh, I think we have high expectations for ourselves. Um, same with our coaches, and obviously the si the city expects a lot from us, and and we wouldn't want it any other way. So um, so I think yeah, I think we got a lot of depth again, which which we had a lot of last year, and and uh, and um, and it should just be a good, another great year. And lastly, what is your favorite memory as a Bulldog so far? Oh wow, favorite memory. There's been a lot. Um, <laughs> Uh, I've been pretty fortunate to, to play with a lot of great guys, but, um, but I think just last year in Chicago at the Frozen Four, I think the whole week was just uh, was, uh, um, a testament to how great, great of a group of guys we had. Um, making it that far obviously didn't end up the way that we wanted to, but uh, that was really something that I'll, I'll remember the rest of my life. And now Bulldog Country would like to get to know Carson a little bit better, so we're going to ask you a series of rapid fire questions that you're going to answer to the best of your ability. Are you ready? All right, let's do it. If you could be any animal in the world, what animal would you choose and why? A uh, lion. Just has so much respect. Who would win in an arm wrestling competition between you and assistant captain Parker McKay? Oh, me for sure, and he would tell you the same. Who is your favorite professional athlete? Um, Sidney Crosby. What is your favorite rink to play in on the road and why? On the road, uh, Ralph Engelstad in North Dakota. Uh, electric atmosphere. If you could pick up and move anywhere in the United States, what city would you choose? Wow, um, Boston. I really enjoy it there. Who is the worst smelling guy on the team and who is the best smelling guy? Uh, worst smelling, I'd have to go with Hunter Shepard. Um, uh, best smelling, uh, probably my roommate Jade Miller. What is your favorite place to eat in Duluth? Um, Got to go with the tavern. Um, location's great and, and haven't been uh, disappointed with food yet. If you could only choose one song to listen to for the rest of your life, what would it be? Air Church Springsteen. And lastly, if you were stranded on a deserted island and had to choose only one of your teammates to be stranded with, who would you choose and why? Oh, wow. Um, Avery Peterson. Uh, he's. <laughs> he's, a, he's a handyman, so he might honestly figure out a way to get off the island, so that would be great. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.